plastic. You wouldn't just throw it away on the street, right? You would choose to put it somewhere where you would hope that it would have less of a detriment to the environment, right? You make that choice. Why don't you make that choice with your money? When you choose to invest in a company or a stock or an ETF, you have the choice to choose. Do you wanna help the environment with this money or potentially hurt it? Hey, this is Tony from Wealthfront. And today we're talking about socially responsible investing. Socially responsible investing or SRI is an investment strategy where you evaluate companies based on how much benefit or harm they generate for society. It's generally a strategy that evaluates companies based on their benefit or detriment to society rather than profits alone. Now, put more simply, when you invest in a socially responsible way, you're investing in what you believe in is good for the world. But socially responsible investing means different things to different people. Here are two big ways investors approach socially responsible investing. Number one, exclusionary approach. As the name suggests, this is when you avoid investing in something if you believe the underlying company is engaged in activities that are harming society. For example, if you believe that fossil fuel extraction is bad, then you might exclude any company that's involved in fossil fuel extraction from your portfolio. It's that simple. Number two, impact investing. Impact investing is another approach to socially responsible investing. This is when you only invest in companies if their business activities are aligned with your values. For example, you might build a portfolio entirely with companies engaged in promoting clean energy. Some investors might also choose to use ESG scores or carbon intensity scores to evaluate investments. Now, ESG scores are numerical scores assigned to investments based on their environmental, social, and governance factors. Environmental factors take into account a company's conservation efforts, including their actions in areas such as climate change, carbon emissions, air and water pollution, and energy efficiency. Social factors concern a company's practices regarding people and relationships in areas like diversity, human rights, and labor standards. Governance factors take into account a company's management standards. Think board composition, executive compensation, and political contributions. The investment research company, MSCI, assigns these scores based on a company's policies related to a broad range of behaviors like water pollution, data privacy, and board composition, for example. Total ESG scores typically range from 0 to 100, with 100 typically representing best performance. The number of criteria a company can be assigned depends on how many are material to that company, ranging from anywhere 16 to 27 or so. Now, you can also check an investment's carbon intensity score if you want to get even more specific. This score tells you how many tons of carbon dioxide a company emits per million dollars of sales and allows you to exclude certain investments if you think that the carbon footprint is simply too big. At the end of the day, socially responsible investing is personal, and the right approach is whatever feels best to you. Your ideal socially responsible portfolio might look extremely different from someone else's, and that's totally fine. The important thing is that it reflects your opinions and beliefs, so you gotta feel good about your investments. At Wealthfront, we chose to focus on these two factors to allow our clients to build their socially responsible portfolios. But another question has come up recently that made us kind of wonder, why is socially responsible investing so hot right now? Well, you can genuinely have an impact just simply by choosing to invest your money a certain way. Investing isn't just about a way of growing your money. I mean, although we certainly want to do that, right? You want to invest in things that'll help grow your wealth long-term. But investing is also a way for you to shape the future. When you invest in a certain ETF or stock or even asset class, you're expressing a belief in the future of that investment. Because of this, many investors feel strongly about picking a portfolio that reflects their opinions and values. That sometimes is more important to many people than the simply returns. You are quite literally putting your money where your mouth is to make a difference to support a cause and your belief. And if you feel good about what you're investing in, you might be likely to make more deposits going in there. And that's a key to building long-term wealth. So whether you're just focused on returns, you're focused on returns and ESG, either way, building long-term wealth is what we're all trying to do here, right? Thanks for joining us. I'm Tony from Wealthfront. See you next time.